This is on stage. Right. The, this one by the piano. Okay. Good. Two. Okay. My only concern, really, is if I I could come practically right up to the stage, except there's no piano. I want to recommend that because everything's being mic'd and the drums. So you won't get you'll be getting a, a stage mix if that's what you want. No, no, no. I'm just yeah. I'm walking back and forth sure, and just sure. listening to the band playing. I, I would pretty... say where it is right now is probably a good spot. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
afternoon you know this is my favorite theater in New York City don't you think so this is the nicest theater in New York City right here and we got a beautiful day too nice job by the lighting man um, this is a JVC Jazz Festival and uh, we've been uh, running some great shows in New York since the 12th and we go through the 24th this is the first of three days at Bryant Park where we're presenting you some great uh, live jazz Today we've got some wonderful sounds from uh, all around the world. If you travel to the West, you can come and hear these guys. This is the, the new herd. And uh, if you travel to the East, you can catch some of the sounds that we're going to hear after the new herd from Spain. But right now I would like to introduce, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce a gentleman who's been involved in championing jazz and writing about jazz for... Well, since I was uh, a young man, <laughs> he's, he's very well known around the world. He's written uh, a lot of great books, including the very influential and seminal uh, Encyclopedia of Jazz. Please welcome Mr. Ira Gittler. Thank you, John. Can you all hear me back there? Good. 
I grew up in the era of the big bands, but I don't think you have to have grown up with the big bands in order to enjoy a big band. When a big band is in full flight, hitting on all cylinders, there's no sound in the world like it. And we're in for a treat today with this great aggregation from Japan. 50 years ago, so we're celebrating a couple of anniversaries here, 50 years ago, uh, Miyama-san started this band. And 25 years ago, they played at the Roseland Ballroom as part of this festival. It wasn't known as JVC then, but it was uh, the big festival in New York, and it still is. So uh, let's hear a couple of sounds from Miyama and the herd, the new herd. called Bebop came into being in full flower with Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie and uh, one of the signature numbers was a thing called Donna Lee based on the old song back home again in Indiana. Now for years uh, uh, Charlie Parker has been credited with this but everyone on the inside including Gil Evans told me that Miles Davis really wrote it but he never got credit for it. So thereafter Miles Davis started taking credit for other people's songs since Charlie Parker took this one from him. But any way you slice it, this is The New Herd and Donna Lee. <laughs> Thank you. 
his mark with uh, trumpeter Donald Bird's band. His name was Herbie Hancock. And uh, then, of course, he went on to greater accomplishment as a member of Miles Davis's famous 60s, mid-60s quintet. And then, of course, as a recording star on his own. But one of the first songs that became associated with him that he wrote was recorded by trumpeter Freddie Hubbard on Blue Note back in the 60s, and we will now hear Herbie Hancock's Maiden Voyage. Thank you. 
has a long history. It was uh, co-composed by Dizzy Gillespie and the great Congaro Chano Pozo back in the 1940s, and it became quite a hit. Uh, those of you who go back that far remember Symphony Sid on the radio. He would play this song every night, and uh, it's one of the most exciting 
pieces of Afro jazz, Afro Cuban jazz fusion, which was just getting started in the 40s, thanks in great part to Dizzy Gillespie. In 1974, Miyama and the New Herd played this at Monterey, Monterey Jazz Festival, and the, the great Diz sat in with them on it, so it has a lot of historical memories for this band. This is Manteca.
of the band to you and uh, if my pronunciation in Japanese isn't perfect please excuse me uh, the trumpets with the trumpet stand Sunio Takeda Sho Okamura Naohiro Kikuchi Shuichiro Ise the trombones Terahiko Kataoka, Toru Umeki, Tomoki Mitsuka, <clears throat> Sumio Okada, the saxophones, Alto, Toshimichi Imao, Yutaka Umizuki, the tenor players, Yuji Kawamura, and Atsushi Sakagawa. On baritone sax, Kenichi, Kenichiro Ono. On piano, Masaki Matsumoto. On bass, Tetsuya Machine. The drummer, Minoru Sakata. And the man who did the arrangement 
on Monteca and also uh, of the next piece we're going to hear on guitar, Kozaburo Yamaki. And how about it for the leader, Toshiyuko Miyama. This next piece is called Furusode is Crying and uh, translated that means a crying Japanese girl in a kimono. And if I can get to my second page of notes, I'll tell you what it's all about. Furusode is a long sleeve Japanese kimono to be worn at very formal occasions. The Yamaki's theme is played by two flutes, two clarinets, and sounds like traditional Japanese music by koto instruments. The koto is a stringed instrument, so we have the flutes and the clarinets approximating the koto. Furusode is crying. Thank <laughs> you. 
for Risode is crying. Now we'll go to uh, an arranger outside of the band, very well known in Japan. Uh, his name is Norio Maeda. He arranged the first number we heard today, Donna Lee. And this is an uh, original composition called Ikisudama. It's based on an old Japanese religious belief uh, on a wraith or a spirit which appeared in many classical literatures. Uh, Maeda expresses this through uh, mysterious sounds and solos and ensembles of the saxophones. Iki Sudama. Dead. Ah, there we go. There's been a change in program, and we'll hear a, another Japanese number called Yamataifu, which was composed by a very fine pianist and arranger composer in Japan, uh, uh, Mr. Sato. Uh, and Yamataifu is the name of a country which is said to have existed in Japan around the third century, governed by an, an empress called Himeko. It's been a big subject of archaeology. In many areas of Japan, its ruins are still found from underground, which stir up people's romantic interest into their ancient ancestors. Uh, Sato tries to inject dynamic emotion into the sounds. So this is Yamataifu.
Chai Fu by Masahiko Sato. And next time we'll get the EMS drivers to get in the right key. Now, we're going to go down home with this one. It's uh, arranged by Tommy Newsom, who used to uh, lead the band on The Tonight Show. And uh, The New Herd recorded it in 1978 with Lou Tobacken on the tenor saxophone. Actually, it's a song written in the 50s by the great tenor saxophonist Sonny Rollins. And he took an old, old song called How Come You Do Me Like You Do. It's a 16-bar pattern, and he wrote a new melody on top of it. And uh, we're going to hear uh, Yuj Karamura play the tenor solo. This is Sonny Rollins' Doxy. Yeah. <laughs>
for the final piece of the concert. We go to the Charles Mingus songbook, which is a vast one, and the great bassist composer's music is being played wide, maybe more widely today than when he was alive, but that often happens. You become a prophet after, uh, after you pass. But uh, there are two Mingus bands going in New York right now, the Mingus Big Band and the Mingus Orchestra, and other people are playing his music. And the New Herd has played this composition for a while, and the arrangement is by Norio Maeda. Pithecanthropus erectus.
and the new herd. Domo Arigato. ジャズ三昧、ジャズとミュージカル、音楽三昧の日々でした。バンドの人と思った遊びたかったなっていうのが一言残念でした。せめてランチタイムぐらい一緒にしたかったわ。以上。遊びすぎだけ行っちゃお
そうそうあそれ言いましょうか、うん、どうぞじゃあえー、っとですね今回ですね東京でも最近していなかった朝帰りを2回をし,し,してしまいましたさすがに最終日はダウンで寝てました<笑>ありがとうございますよく歩きました年の割には好奇心旺盛で何でも見たいからいっぱい見ましたありがとうございます<笑>以上ですあの宮本新居を聞いてどういう感想、まあ、アメリカ人がどういう反応を示したのかそれを知りたいしでもし音楽表あればぜひ読ませてもらいたいと思いますあの佐渡氏好きな人間は腰を抜かすほどびっくりしたんじゃないかと思うんですけどあんなうまい演奏はニューヨークもめったに聴けるもんじゃないと思いますで我々の誇りだと思います。そういうのが感想です<笑>おはようございますたまたま参りましたけれどもこの5日間すっかりおのぼりさんをしてきましたまた来たいと思いますもう,もう一言いいですか、はいえー、バードランドで聞いたシナトラトリビュートのバンドはもう最高でしたミンガス行きたかった<笑>もうミュージカルのシカゴも最高だったしニューヨークはもっと<笑>これからも何回も何回も訪れたいと思いますでニューハードはもう最高でしたはいありがとうございました、えー、ベースのマシネです<笑>今回はいろんなニューヨークのビッグバンドが見えてどういうことをやれば良いのかということがすごくよく分かったつもりですごく楽しかったと思います勉強になりました演奏の方はちょっといまいちだったと思います。サックスの斧です、えー。実力の差というのか、まあいろんなライブ行って<笑>、えー、感激しました。以上です。大いに反省したいと思います。<笑>えー、僕はまずニューヨーク来ると、えー、いつもあのなんていうか、それはなぜかっていうと。えー、エンパイアステートビルが僕と同じ年生まれた年にできたんで誕生日が同じなんで、えー、これから考えるとエンパイアはまだまだ死なないし、うん、あと少しだからしっかり頑張りたいと思いますこれは睡眠薬ですこれを大野さんに飲ませて静かなフライトを楽しもうと思っております<笑>演奏の感想ですか。頑張りました。はい、ありがとうございます。二<笑>回目のニューヨークなんとか頑張ってやりました。どうもありがとう。こんにちは。水川です。森岡さん三ドル返します。タクシー代。<笑><笑>ニューヨークの思い出あ僕も歩きすぎて足が痛いです<笑>楽しもう帰りたくありません<笑><笑>つことで<笑>ありがとうございましたいいやとんでもないニューヨークの演奏の思い出を本当に感想楽しかったですね仕返りたくないですね。<笑>日本帰りたくないですね。一年ぐらいいたいです。ミスカさんも行きましたので。ありがとうございました。ですか。それだけなんて。え、私、え、私はもう今回はあのなんか宮本さんのところのあの、えー、バンドさんと一緒ってことすごく楽しみにやってまいりましたが。娘があの。